Is it possible to design an elegant grown-up space that's also kid-friendly? Absolutely. The reason we're redoing our living room and we moved into this bigger house was because we were very crammed and we had now two kids. I just had a baby, so our furniture before wasn't very kid-friendly. I was definitely overwhelmed trying to design it myself because it was just a lot. We will show you how to create a beautiful space that will hold up to the daily wear and tear of life with kids and grow with your family on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. In order for this design to stand the test of time, there are two things that I have to keep in mind. One is a neutral color palette. Neutral color palettes are perfect because they can easily be changed up over time by adding just a few accessories. And two, durable fabrics. Performance fabrics and fabrics that can easily be wiped off are essential for a home with young children. Jordan, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Hi. <laughs> We're so excited to have you here today with us for your makeover. I'm so excited. So what are some of the key things that you need for this living room space? One of the major things is that I need kid-friendly fabrics. So, you know, no whites that kid handprints will be all over. And that same with like at our old condo, there was just handprints all over the walls and spills on our couch. Absolutely, so kid-friendly yes. fabrics. And we also want it to look beautiful. And beautiful. So with this mood board, I wanted to keep all the things in mind, like the uh, lots of seating. I picked some great performance fabrics for the sofa. Oh, so good. this way you can still go with lighter colors, yes. but they won't stain. Yes, that's, that's, so that's I knew that was essential. Um, I want to bring in some pops of greenery, and then I've got a lot of great textures for pillows and accents. The most important thing I wanted to show you is a wallpaper that I've chosen. I wanted to do a fun texture for you again, keeping with the neutral palette. And this is a beautiful soft wallpaper. It has a, almost a hide like, sort of yeah. like those rugs, the hide rugs, yeah. but it brings it on the wall. We're gonna get started with this wallpaper project first, but we gotta get you changed into your Sofla Home Project t-shirt before we get the makeover underway. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. So we're just gonna cut up a few more strips and then ready to go. Yeah. Awesome. Oh wow, I love this. Exciting, right? Yeah, it so, looks great. Jordan, this is Craig from Walls Craig. by Craig. He is our wallpaper installer. It looks really good. You love I'm it, I'm surprised, right? cause like, I was nervous about it, but seeing it now on the table, it looks amazing. It will give some great texture to the wall. And I do want to point out that this is a vinyl paper, so easy to clean with soap and water. Okay. Yeah, it looks almost like it would be hard to clean, so I'm surprised that you're yes. saying that it's easy. It's a like... super, it's the most durable wallpaper that you can put up. Perfect. Yeah. This is a really distinct pattern and it's beautiful. We're going to start, you're going to go left to right, which way we're going to well, sort this normally out? Normally I start in the far corner of a room so the seams are overlapped away from the eye. So when you're standing under there, the overlaps are away from your eye. I trust you. <laughs> I'm nervous, but I no. trust you. It's always nervous when you see it like this, yeah. but I promise once it's up on the wall, it's gonna be a wow factor. Okay, so this is our bookshelf, which you've had, and I honestly think it looks great against this wallpaper, right? Yeah, I like it. Now, we definitely want it to be more safe as well. Yeah. So, we will have this secured to the wall. Yes, that'd be great because when she's learning to walk, I don't want her to pull yes. it and it fall on her. Or, any, you know. any tall bookcases and objects definitely want to be secured to the wall. Okay. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, we add a vintage touch to the bonus space with some vinyl. I'm Tacker Auto with FHIA, and we're going to take a look at why this family decided to change out their doors on today's Sofla Home Project. Welcome back to Sofla Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing our living room makeover with Jordan. What do you think of this wallpaper? I really like it. Yeah, Elena had to sell me on the wallpaper because at first I was nervous because it, you know, it's just such a big decision and if it looks bad, then what do I do? So Craig, we want to thank you for doing such an amazing job. It, it looks... came out beautiful. 
phenomenal and it's really going to set a great backdrop for the rest of this makeover. So thank you very oh, you're much. Welcome. Yeah, you did a great job. Okay. I'm super happy. Have a great day. It's the perfect backdrop. So these bookcases look beautiful in front of the wall, right? Yeah, I love it. It looks great. Before we get to this, I want to address the bonus area that's right here. We've got a little bit of work to do there yeah. and then another little seated area that I want to create for you. Oh, great. So let's go check that out. There's a little bonus area when you look at the room. It's not a normal square. It's like a little area off to the side. So I had a hard time figuring out what do we do with this area? Do I make it like a play area? But I still want it to look nice. I thought about maybe putting a piano there. So Jordan, this area is sort of like a bonus room. Although it's connected to the main living space, I feel like it can kind of live on its own as a little, you know, separate nook of the room. Like a seating area. For, Absolutely. Yeah. And I see you already have some records and some cool things yeah. which we want to incorporate in the design, yeah. right? My husband spends too much money on his records. Um, he thought about getting rid of them. I'm like, you know what? No, we might as well showcase them. So we thought, you know, let's make that a little area where you could sit and listen to the music. So I have the floor plan for this area. And I thought to keep it conversational to the main living space, to have some nice, comfortable lounge seats that would be facing there, but you could also have your own little space with them too. Yeah, and that'd be great to like bring guests over to the living room and have more people sit around, you know, if we need it. Absolutely, and I thought easy to move furniture here, not bulky, heavy chairs yes. that you can't do that with that function. Kid-friendly fabrics, easy to wipe down, and try them out. Yes. Super comfortable, you could lounge, and I'm gonna add some comfy cushions. Yes, so this is cozy, but they're nice. You can put on your shoes by Absolutely. the door. Absolutely, it's great. Yeah. Right on the way out, Jordan. So we got a couple more things for this room. All the details is what really makes the design, right? Yeah. And someone who is very detail-oriented is our very own Tad Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. So let's check in with him and see what he has for us today. There's so many reasons why it's really important to have an in-home consultation before you decide to do any home improvement project. And this is a great example of why that consultation was so important. This family wanted to do something to change out these French doors and they really weren't sure exactly what to do. And the concerns that we had when we met were with the kids and with the doors, the way they open, it could be dangerous for the small children. And the homeowners were really glad we had that talk because they decided to ultimately go from changing out the double French doors to putting in sliding glass doors, which will still give them the look they wanted, but it'll give them the safety and security of knowing that if the kids are running into the backyard, that they're not gonna have to worry and cringe like I always used to do with my French doors and my small children, that wind would catch the door and somebody trailing behind's hand would get caught in the door. Another benefit to the in-home consultation was what to do with the geometric windows above. Right now the windows on top of the doors are actually two windows put together by screws. We looked at a few different manufacturers and we ultimately decided on one that we could do one piece so they won't have that divided bar in between the two windows. It'll be one piece, just one large geometric window. So by looking at a few different products we were ultimately able to decide on the perfect one for this family. Another beautiful rainy day in South Florida, but you would never know it from being inside because these doors really cut down a lot of the sound. It's perfectly quiet in here. Not only did these doors really transform this living room area because we went from the French doors to the sliding glass doors, which was a big decision for the homeowner. Another great decision this family made was how they designed the geometric windows. They went with clear glass instead of the divided light which was in there before. And with the clear glass, it really looks like it brings the outside into the home and it changed and transformed this entire space. So I know they love that decision because it turned out great. So we gave them the hurricane protection they were looking for. It's really gonna be energy efficient and it's gonna reduce a lot of the heat making the space a lot more comfortable and it cuts down a lot of the sound. The installation went great. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So Jordan, this is the rug here and I wanna roll it out to give you a little sneak peek. Okay, I'm excited to see it. All right, and then first of all, just to explain what I've got. So this is a natural hide rug. Also great because it won't stain, it doesn't absorb stain. Okay. And if something does spill, you just blot it with a little water, soapy water. And it kind of matches the... Um... You noticed what yeah. I was trying to do, <laughs> yes. So this kind of plays off of the wallpaper, yeah. sort of that hide look, and yeah. this is a real hide. Here. Okay, so cool. We're gonna take a little peek and you see it brings in all of the tones of our room. We've got some grays, some creams. And it's really soft, I'm surprised. You like, like the, the texture yeah, of it? it's so yes. soft. All right, so let's sort of play around with the placement of this, okay? Okay. I 
had a hard time initially trying to figure out what area rug to put there, and uh, Elena said maybe a freeform rug, so it was definitely not something I would have considered, but I thought it was a really cool element, and it definitely made it feel less structured and kind of more open. So I love this angled kind of way the rug flows in the space, right? Yeah, I really like it because then it, the doorway kind of creates an entranceway. Yeah, it absolutely gives a little bit of a pathway. Yeah, a pathway. And it also looks cool. So. Yes. Now, you have a junction box above this area. Have you ever had a light here before? Um, no, and I don't even know what a junction box is, so. <laughs> so that is the, so when you see that plate on the wall, okay. that just means it's another area where we could hook up a light fixture. Okay. I think now that we're making this sort of a lounge area, yeah. I think it would be great to put something decorative. Okay. So I've got something cool planned that I want to show you. Okay. So this is the light fixture I was thinking. It's gonna have vintage bulbs. Okay. I thought to kind of bring a little bit of an eclectic mix in here. Yeah, it's definitely different. So this is a semi-flush light, which means it drops from the ceiling just a few inches. I don't want a low-hanging chandelier. It's beautiful, but it also serves a function, so this room could be multi-purpose. So we've got our light up. What do you think? I love it. Wow. It gives a little bit of a flair to the room, and I think it really defines the space here nice. as not just part of the living room, but its own little area. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Coming up next, we create a stylish seating area with kid-friendly fabric. It's a new year and it's the perfect time to start thinking about changing up the furnishings in your home. And we're here at Fairs today to check out all of the great stuff that they've got. We're here with Danielle from Fairs to let us know about some of the great promotions they're running for January. What's going on this month? So we're having some amazing promotions this month. We have brands on sale from Bernhardt to Vanguard to Natuzzi to Lexington. We're actually featuring Lexington this month. And here, I'm here to show you about our Barclay Butera collection. This bedroom is beautiful. I love the finish, the colors. It's just so pretty and soft and light. It definitely is. It's the Barclay Butera collection. It's called Malibu. So it's got that very coastally feel. It's got a beautiful arched headboard and this four poster bed. While it's beautiful with its metal trim, you could bring it down to a low poster bed. So not only is the furniture beautiful, but I love this bedding. It's tied together so nicely, the fabrics, the patterns, the accessories. We definitely want your room to look as beautiful as our showroom. So we have beautiful lamps to go with it. We have custom bed coverings. We'll be able to make your home perfect. This room looks amazing. It's so perfect in like that South Florida relaxing vibe. Yes, it's got a casual look to it. This is Oyster Bay. So it's a beautiful, warm, gray toned finish. Pretty. And the hardware is also extremely beautiful. But what's especially nice is this bed. It's yes. tufted, so you get to have a lot of details to it. You got the nail heads on the side of it that also bring to the feel of it. And if you wanted a different fabric, we can do that as well. I saved the best for last for you. This is the Royal Kahala collection from Tommy Bahama. It's 50% off right now, so you're getting the deal. Wow, that is a deal. And this is stunning. The detail is incredible. Yes, so this is a beautiful woven rattan, and the finish is a mahogany. And this top part, what's so neat about it is you could take it off. Wow. It changes the entire look. You can go right from traditional to more of a transitional look just like that. Exactly. So this island feel can be in your home at 50% off. What more could you want? Not only is the bedroom set on sale, but we have the dining room set that's also 50% off. Oh, that's great. And it's also part, looks like it's part of the same collection that we just saw from Tommy Bahama. Yes, it is Royal Kahala. It is a British colonial style. And even though it seats six now, you can add two leaves to make it seat 10 for your holidays. That's perfect. And I love this mahogany finish. It's beautiful. The detailing on the chairs. Are they also customizable with the fabrics? Yes, you can change the fabric so it'll fit whatever look you have in your home. And the new year is the best time to start thinking about updating your furnishings and what better place to do that than Fairs. Please come to one of our 16 locations and we'll be happy to make your home beautiful. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are continuing our living room makeover with Jordan. We are trying to create a wonderful space that's not only beautiful but functional for a growing family with young children. Yes. So Jordan, we've got the wallpaper up, we've placed a few items into place, we've got a little touch of greenery. Yes. What do you think so far? I'm obsessed, it looks amazing, I love it. 
For the main area of the living room, the floor plan needed to be something that was open and inviting and defines this space with a very large L-shaped sectional. We're now gonna get the sofa in, which I know you're gonna love because yep. I think it's super comfortable. So let's I'm see excited. if you like it. Sometimes when you're going so light in, in a palette, layering different textures really adds a lot of interest. Check this out. These are super deep, very comfortable. Yeah. These are not the pillows we're gonna keep. These are what they came with, okay. but this is a performance fabric, so it will not stain, it's easy to maintain, so wanted to get some child-friendly fabrics. Okay, and I'm really surprised that it's cleanable. Like, it doesn't look like it would be easy to clean, but you're right, I read reviews and it is totally performance cleanable. Performance fabrics yeah. are a great thing, and this is a beautiful woven texture. Yeah, comfy. Sometimes this looks like it's like a linen type of fabric that could be harder to the touch, but this yeah. has like a really nice soft feel. I was a little conflicted because a dark sofa would be a great way to hide all the stains and spills that are going to happen, but I really didn't want to get a dark sofa, so luckily Elena recommended a performance fabric and found me the couch of my dreams in a light color. I am going to send you on your way so I could finish getting this room ready for the big reveal. Okay, I'm excited to see it. I can't wait. Let's get going because I've got a lot of work to do. I'm feeling excited to come back and see what Elena does. I totally trust her. I think it's going to be great to just be surprised and see what she has come up with. I want to dress up the sofa, so we are getting all of the new pillows out. What we're getting rid of is the ones that match the sofa. These ottomans are easy to move. I figured they could go easily in the lounge area, as well as here in the living room. They swivel, so they're conversational, and the fabric is a vinyl. So again, so simple to wipe off and keep clean, even though it's white. Next, on SoFlo Home Project, we add the final touches and get ready for the big reveal. I am so excited with the way this living room makeover is turning out. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are finishing up all of the final details in this space. So the room has a beautiful neutral palette with lots of rich textures and also is a child-friendly space. All of the fabrics are easy to clean, easy to maintain. I cannot wait for this family to see the room, so I'm gonna go get them right now. So this is the moment we've been waiting for, the big reveal. We're here with David, Jordan, and Allie. Tell us a little bit about what it looked like before. Uh, it was a lot of mismatched furniture in the sense yeah. that we just, we'd been moving from apartment to apartment and finally moved into a house, so it just didn't really feel like anything fit. Well, I've matched everything up, <laughs> and I'm going to count down three, two, one, and then you're going to take off your glasses, okay. okay? Perfect. All right, three, two, one. Welcome to your new living room. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this looks awesome. Holy cow. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks gosh. great. So we matched everything up and gave you the big sectional, lots of textures. Wow. So I know you wanted it to also be kid friendly, but it's still stylish for you know your own living room to feel also like an adult space as well. Yes. It looks really good. That looks great. Thank you. I love the so ottomans love because they, you know, the kids can sit on them. They're kind of like, you know, she can learn to walk, hold on to it, and it's like her level. So I think it's going to be great. And I love just like all the surfaces are perfect, all the materials are perfect. I'm just in love, and especially these pillows will hide lots of things. <laughs> I love these pillows. I also really like how, even though, you know, you've kind of created two separate areas here with like the seating area over there and the living room how kind of the wall, the carpet, and just the design over here kind of ties it all together. So it feels like separate areas, but it, none of it really feels out of place. It all looks really awesome. Yeah, a little bit of a mix. And because we were going with neutral, I wanted to pull in the textures. So we have our little it. record area. You could put in your favorite albums, oh, and awesome. frames, mix it up each time, <laughs> display. You could add to all of these spaces. Everything has room to grow. I love this too. It's uh, definitely beyond uh, she loves it. <laughs> yeah, she loves it. It's definitely beyond my, uh, my expectations, though. I just love how, ooh, with kind of not uh, such an open space, we were able to get so many different areas out of it, whether it be the little sitting area over there, the entranceway. It's, yeah, we're ready for we're movie ready night. We're ready for movie night. And we're ready for game night, and we're ready for sleepover night, and we're ready for fortnight. And I think she's ready for bed. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 
I love it. I'm it's obsessed. Perfect. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. Uh, it looks uh, great. Oh, I like how you did the pictures. Yeah, too. we kept all of the, so all oh. of the things. I wanted to keep some of the personal touches yeah. and the things that you wanted in your home. So we you just like added it? them all into the decor you throughout. Like and now you have a beautiful space to grow in with your family. Oh my gosh, thank you, Alina. It looks so, so good. Much. I know, I'm like, I'm so in love with it. Totally couldn't have done this by myself. I would have never picked some of these things on my own. I like, needed her help. So was, I'm really, really glad we called her. I'm gonna let you guys go enjoy your new space. <laughs> and to our viewers at home, we hope you enjoyed this week's makeover. And we'll see you again next week for another episode of Soflo Home Project. Yay! If you missed any part of this makeover, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoflaHomeProject.com. You can also submit your design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next week on Soflo Home Project, we head into the heart of downtown Miami to explore luxury city living at its best.